If you have audio files that look like this in your GarageBand projects on the iPhone or the iPad, then chances are that you've recorded them with a low input volume. But don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use the very cool merge function to normalize the volume and bring up our waveforms so that we can easily edit and mix these tracks. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And in this video, I'm right in the middle of the mixing and editing phase of this track. But I've come across a problem and that problem is pretty obvious. And that is that I'm trying to do some volume automation and some editing, but I can't see my waveforms. You can see in here, we've got a vocal and we've got two guitars, but I recorded them so low that we can't actually see them. Now, it doesn't actually matter because the volume doesn't really affect this. The actual audio is okay. Let's just dive in and take a listen to the vocal or we'll solo this it sounds like this thing that many fear so it's fine but you'll see here that i've had to really pump up the compressor and pump up the volume to try and actually hear this the guitar is the same deal So the volume is actually fine, like the audio is fine, but the problem is I can't actually see what I'm doing. So there's a simple trick that we can use here, and that's using the merge function to normalize the audio, which is actually gonna pump up our waveforms and make this look a lot bigger and a lot easier for us to edit. So let's dive in and do that right now. Now the first thing that we have to do is we have to copy the audio files for these three tracks over to some clean audio tracks because the problem we have here is that we have some plugins, some EQ, some settings on here that are actually going to go across. If we merge these tracks right now, they're going to carry over all of the settings and all the plugins that they have onto the new tracks. So the first thing we're going to do is tap the plus button down here and we're going to actually create some clean audio tracks to copy these too. So let's go more sounds and under fun we have clean. We're going to tap on clean don't ask me why clean is under fun that's an apple thing uh, we'll go back to our track view here and there is our first clean track what we need to do now is create two more because we've got one two three tracks that we want to copy over here so we're going to tap on the first one we're going to tap again and we're going to go duplicate and then we're going to tap again and we're going to go duplicate again so we've got three clean audio tracks here ready for us to copy across our waveforms from these three tracks our next step is to copy over the audio files. So for our first one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually tap and hold just in this black section to the left and then draw a rectangle over these three bits of audio because you can see here, I've recorded my vocal in three different chunks, which has made this a little bit trickier, but that's okay. I'm gonna tap on any one of these, tap again and tap copy. And then what I need to do is I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna put my playhead right at the start of this audio like this. And then I'm gonna go down to my new track. I'm gonna tap again and tap paste. And what this has done is it's created an exact copy of this audio file and it's popped it down here so we can actually use this one to merge. Now we need to do the same with our guitars. The first guitar is a bit easier because it's one whole take. I got that guitar right, so that's okay. I'm gonna tap on that one. I'm gonna go copy, but again, we're gonna zoom in by pinching or by spreading our fingers actually, and then going to bar four here, which is where our guitar kicks in, going to the second audio track, tapping, hitting paste, there you go, there is our first guitar track, and then our second guitar track is gonna be tricky again. Let's use our, our uh, multi-select method here. So we're gonna tap on the first section here, then tap and tap again. So if you hold down on the first one and then tap other section, you can actually select multiple sections. And now we can tap and tap again, and tap copy, and then we're gonna slide down and go to our track here. Now, once again, we have to zoom in and make sure the reason we're doing this is that where you put your playhead is where the paste is gonna be. So we need our playhead right aligned with these guitar tracks so we can tap and tap paste and it's going to put our guitar track right in the right spot. If you don't do that, then your tracks aren't going to line up. Your song's going to sound very strange. Let's just check this now by soloing these three tracks. Let's just zoom in on a spot where we've got everything playing and I'll play back and make sure everything is aligned. And a fact that never so our track's not sounding very good because we've lost all of our effects and our processing and our EQ, but we can add those back in, which we will do at the end. But that is where we need to be for now. We are now ready to use our merge function to normalize the audio of these tracks. And you'll see quickly how cool this is and how this brings up our waveforms and makes it much easier for us to edit and mix. 
we are ready to go. So here we have our three tracks. We're going to tap on the first one. We're going to tap right on this microphone icon. And then right in the middle here, we're going to tap merge. Now it's going to ask us which tracks we want to merge. We just want to merge each individual track because we want them to all go to their own separate track. And now in the top right, we're going to tap merge. It's going to do its thing. It's going to duplicate the song. So you will get a bunch of copies of your song, but that's actually okay. It just means you've got some backups. It's merging the track. And there we have a look at that waveform. You can see there what normalizing does is it finds the peak so this is probably our louder section and then it normalizes that so it puts that close to zero db which puts it close to the top and then it brings everything else up so now we can really see that track let's do the same with our guitars so we're going to tap on this one we're going to tap again we're going to tap merge and then merge in the top right corner again it's going to duplicate the song so we're going to get a whole heap of copies but it's going to go away and normalize and look at this guitar track now how much better is that we can actually see each individual individual transient, each hit of the guitar, each guitar chord, that is super cool. Let's do it with our final guitar track. And the other benefit you'll see here is that tracks like this, where there's multiple sections, it's going to put them all back together, which is actually a lot more convenient for our editing process. So we'll tap on this one. We will tap merge in the middle there. We'll tap merge in the top right. It's going to do is duplicate. Yes, another copy, merging, normalizing, and bang. There is our three tracks. And there is our vocals and our guitars. Now I'm going to drop the volume down a little bit because you can see these are going to be louder. And if we just pick a random spot here and play back. So there is our track. It doesn't sound great because it's lost all of those effects. So the last phase in our process is let's add back in some of the effects these tracks so that we can actually mix and then master and release this track. And our last stage here is to put our presets back on. So here's our vocal track. What we need to do is tap on the microphone up here in the top left. And then here's our clean sound. We can tap in the top left, this little down arrow, and tap on clean. Now, if you're on the iPad, that'll be right in the middle. You won't have to go up to the top left here. But we're going to go to vocals, and let's put punchy presence, which was our preset that we had before, back on. So we go back to our track view by tapping on the track icon in the top left. And there we go. We've got our microphone, our punchy presence back. We can tap the next one here. This is our guitar. So we're going to tap the microphone again. Once again, up here in the top left, we'll tap on that. We'll go to clean. And this time we're going to go acoustic guitar and nice room. That's what we use on our acoustic guitar. We'll go back to our track view and there you can see we've got our acoustic guitar, nice room. Finally, we'll do our other guitar. We'll tap on this. We won't do that. We'll tap on this. We'll go to microphone and then once again, top left, tap on clean and then go to our acoustic guitar and nice room room and there we go we've got all of our instruments back with their presets so let's just have a quick listen to these without adjusting these at all and see how they sound hope of kings and peasants too it's a dream of weekend so not bad, we've still got some work to do because I did a little bit of adjusting. And obviously I have, the reason I have these tracks, the reason I copy these is I can go back and check the settings of these and then translate those over to here. So if I really wanted to replicate what I had up there, I could actually just look at what I have there and then pop those on these tracks down here. Or I can recreate these or manually add in whatever plugins and effects that I want by just going in here, going to plugins and EQ and then adding those manually. And I can put whatever I want on any of these tracks. And finally, because this was a stereo guitar, the last thing we need to do is actually go in here to our effects again and put our padding. So let's put this guitar back to the left, this one to the right, and now our track should be sounding pretty similar to what it was originally. Hope of kings and peasants too. And again, now we've got a little bit more editing and mixing and other things to do. But the good news is if we drive in or zoom in, as you might want to call it, we can see, look, we've got the chords here. We've got all the transients. We can see the gaps between the vocals. So if we need to remove some breaths, if we need to do some volume automation, all of that good stuff, we can come in here and do all that a lot more easily because we have decent waveforms. You compare that to that and you can see that this is going to be a lot easier job now that we've normalized the the volume of those tracks.
And there you go, simply by merging our tracks and normalizing the volume, you can see that we can now have much more control. And when we've got a good quality audio signal here, but we just need to boost up our volume using the merge and normalize function can really help out. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions about this or anything else that we've been talking about here on the channel, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you would like to check out even more tips about GarageBand here on the iPhone or the iPad, you can check out the two videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.